everyone, it's June. Welcome back to my channel. This is my new little get up in the back. I got some fabric, some lights. I think who I am. I just feel wonderful. Um, I started a great plan, a lifestyle, a lifestyle plan today, and I just feel so good. I really do. It's, am it's amazing how as soon as you start uh, a plan, whether it be Weight Watchers, anything, low carb, whatever it is, you feel good immediately, and that's what I'm feeling right now. So, mm, that is not what this video is about. I just spit everywhere. Um, this video is 10 questions that I'm gonna answer for you. These are just random questions that I found on the internet, and I was like, you know what? This will be a cute video. It's not gonna be anything serious or anything about hair. Let me pull this down. You know I'm not wearing a bra, right? If you saw my other video, you would know why I'm not wearing a bra. I feel really, really good. I feel energized, as you can see. And I'm not on drugs. I just feel very energized. I just had a cup of coffee, and I'm feeling good. So, anyway. So yeah, these are just like 10 questions that I'm going to answer 100% um, honest. They're not really that personal, but just like to get in the mind of June. What would I answer with these questions? Okay, so let's get into it. <laughs> so, <sighs> Okay, so number one, I can't even read without my glasses again. Um, before we even go any further, let me just, let me show you how I did my nails. Can you see? Can you see how pretty, right? Pretty, I claw you. Okay, so getting, I hate shirts like this. They don't stay up. I mean, they don't stay down. Okay. <laughs> okay. Number one, how did you get your name and what do you feel about it? Okay, so, okay, first of all, as you know, my name is June, right? Obviously you know that. Now, um, the way that it's spelled, well, let's go back to why I was named June. Well, um, this is the story that my mom had told me. She's no longer with us. God rest her soul, but I have to tell you the story and I can't get her here to back it up. But anyway, um, I was supposed to be born in May. Yes, is that a Taurus? I don't even know, what is that? Anyway, I was supposed to be born in May and my name originally was supposed to be Linda. I don't know why. I think I could look like Linda, no? Hello, Linda. Linda, Linda, I think I could be a Linda. Okay, so anyway, I guess back then, into the ancient ages, um, they really couldn't tell, I think, exactly when, like, you know, they didn't have like a, I don't know, a predictor, on, I don't I don't know, of when I'm supposed to be born. I guess it was like around the time, so it was supposed to be like the end of May. Um, so my name was supposed to be Linda. I wasn't born until June. So my mom decided to name me June. But not only did she do that, and I'm not putting down the name. I personally don't, I don't care for it. I don't know. But the worst part is she names me J-U-N-N-E. Yes. So I'm June, but a lot of people call me Jun. And that's, yeah, that's annoying because no matter where I was, if they had to call me like Jun and I'm like, it's June. Then the next question was, why is it two ends if it's like the month? Yeah, so thank you, Mom. Thank you. You're up there. Thank you very much. I used to thank her all the time for naming me with two N's. But, yeah. How do I feel about my name? I mean, it's okay now. I think I appreciate it now because it's my favorite, um, my favorite month. And also because everybody, and I mean everybody, says my name for at least 30 days. Is it the 30 days? Has to start April, moon, and November. Yes, 30 days. 30 days people say my name. So the Kardashians say my name probably 30 times a year for sure the rock hello everybody says my name so yeah so i think i like it now what is the earliest what is the earliest memory i have i know that a lot of you will probably think that i'm 
full of crap. But no, seriously, I was just an itty bitty, itty bitty baby. And I remember being at my grandmother's house. And when I say itty bitty baby, I mean cannot speak infant, so I, like I was infant. I don't know if I was like a month old. I was an infant and I remember my mother wrapping me up in this blanket. It was a flannel blanket and she was wrapping me up and I remember feeling the itchiness of the blanket and I remember screaming and I remember her just like looking at me trying to pacify me like oh like it's gonna be okay but she had no clue that I was screaming because it was itchy. When I brought this up to my mother years ago, she had told me that she does remember because that was the first time that I was screaming uncontrollably and it was because she was wrapping me up in that blanket. How crazy is that? That early, I remember. <laughs> What's the earliest you remember? Hmm. Think about it. Think about that. Okay, um, would you rather eat or drink your calories? So easy, I would rather eat my calories. <laughs> because I am a foodie. I am 100% a foodie. I could, um, I really don't like anything, well, I mean, but water, and water doesn't have calories. The only thing that I really would like that has calories is red wine, and mm, I do not want to live off red wine. No, it would definitely be, yeah, food. Mama loves her food. I do. I do. I do. If you had a talent, what would it be? Um, to eat anything I wanted, as much as I wanted, and be a size two. That would be a talent, right? Make myself a size two. Is that possible? No, it's not possible because, uh, yeah, I'd be a size two right now. Maybe not a size two. Maybe like size five. Only because I'm like 4'11", so, you know, whatever. Okay. Number five, would you rather someone go through your phone or internet history? Um, I would rather <clears throat> someone go through my, my internet history. Um, the reason for that is because you know when you go on your, when you start looking up stuff, even if it was just like to be, to be curious, if you're looking up let's say how to kill your neighbor not that i would ever do that but god forbid anything has ever happened they take that computer that stays on there and yes if your neighbor has um you know left this earth and for some reason they su that they suspect you you're going you're going you're going so yeah i i, I would rather you check my internet history because I don't do any of that. I, if I'm curious, I just think about things like, hmm, how, how could I do that? Oh, that's a bad thought. Oh, no, no. How could, no, that's a bad thought. Don't even type it in. No, I'd rather you go through my, I'd rather you go through my, my internet history because my phone is my personal, this is my personal baby. And this is where, like, I, I text with my, my girlfriends all the time and, and I don't want anybody seeing like such personal stuff. And there are some pictures in there. Yes, I know, I know, but there are. Um, yeah, I had a Bartholin cyst, TMI, right? I had Bartholin cyst and I couldn't see it because of my belly so I needed the camera. Could you imagine if somebody went in to my camera? No, check my internet history. Mm-hmm, because I don't, I don't put anything on there, anything bad. Okay, <laughs> um, five things that make your average day better. Hmm. Number one would be waking up, right? I mean, I know that sounds kind of corny and back in the day when people would say that, <gasps> just be thankful that you're living another day is to go. Well, that's corny, hmm. But I learned to appreciate now every day I wake up is a blessing and it, it truly is a blessing. So yes, so th I, that would have to be the number one thing is waking up because that's the first thing you do right in the morning. So you have to be, uh, yeah, that, th I think that would make my average day better, waking up. I, I, I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> number two would be 68 degree weather. Girlfriend hates, hates when it's like 100 degrees, even 90. I just, I, I don't feel comfortable. And again, if I had that talent to make myself size two and eat everything I want, maybe, 
that weather wouldn't bother me, but yeah, I would like 68 degree weather every single day. That would be amazing for me. Yes. Three, coffee. Hi, can't do without coffee, you know? So if I'm just having an average day and somebody hands me a cup of joe, I'm in a very good mood. So that makes my average day very, very happy. Uh, four, oh, getting love texts from my husband. What? He's always sending me texts throughout the day. No, not throughout the day. Like randomly, like, I don't know, is he doing anything with anybody? Is he cheating on me? No. <laughs> I love, let me see if I can find one from him. Cause he'll just write, I hope you have a great day, babe. I love you. Like all kinds of stuff like that. And that makes me, that makes my average day so much better. Uh, love you, babe. Have a good day. Let's see what else. Um, we were talking about so anything for you, babe. I love you. Love you, babe. Uh, see, very sweet he is. He really is. Um, yeah. So I like getting that during the day. That makes me happy. Uh, okay, <laughs> number five. Den is saying to me when he gets home from work, or he'll call me up and he'll say, babe, don't cook tonight. What? That makes my any day so much better. Because I mean, I love to cook, but you know what? Sometimes when he when he hears how I am, like if he hears me on the phone, he hears that my day's not going so well or whatever, he'll just say, you know what, babe? Don't cook. I got it. Or we'll order in. And that makes my day so much better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Number seven. If you had to choose to do without, would you do without Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter? Um, I think I would have to do without, I think I would have to do, let's see, I think I would have to do without Twitter. Twitter Twitter gets me very, um, I get confused with Twitter. I would never do without YouTube, as you guys know. I would never, I, I'm on YouTube. If I'm not here making videos, then I'm on YouTube, I'm searching, I'm looking at videos, drama videos, uh, DIYs, all kinds. I love it. And Facebook, I would never give up, even though it's like, it gets boring, but I have connected with so many people on Facebook. Um, family that I haven't seen, I think since I was born, like my, my father's side of the family, have not seen them since I'm just an itty bitty baby and we reconnected on there. So to me, that's, I need that. I need that reconnection, you know, that connection with, with my family and friends who I haven't seen in years, people that I went to kindergarten with. To me, that's very, it's very special to me, and I love that. So yeah, so it has to be Twitter. Bye, be gone, be gone. If I wanna know something about uh, a celebrity, I'll pick up a magazine. Okay, hmm. what is something silly you believed in as a child? This is, <laughs> this is ridiculous, but it is silly, and I believed it, and uh, I remember when I had to be, I, I would say about five years old, and um, I wanted money. I believe I asked my mother for money, and my Uncle Angelo came over to me, and he's like, do you want money? Do you want to grow a money tree? I was like, yes, yes, yes. Oh, God, I remember this so clear. He said, okay, give me your arm. Right here. He says, take a lemon. So we went at my grandmother's house at the time and he cut a lemon. He gives me the lemon and he says, rub it on your arm every day and just wish for money. So I would do this and I did it religiously because I wanted money, money. Took the lemon, rubbing it. Wish for money, I wish I had money, wish I had money, wish I had money. And I would do it and I would say, look at that. There is a tree growing. It was my veins. But I kept doing, I kept doing. And then my mom saw me and she's like, what are you doing? And I said, Uncle Angel told me that if I wanted money to rub lemon. And she just went hysterical and she goes, you don't really believe that, right? That's not true. It's not happening. That is your vein. And I, I, I can't even believe that I believe that. But you know, you're a kid. You believe anything an adult tells you, right? It wasn't until I was old that I was like, wow, I can't believe he did that. So yeah, uh, ha, ha, ha. okay, what show or shows do you watch that isn't targeted for your age group? Glee, I watched Glee, 
and that's about high school students, but I loved it. I love the music in it, but still the, I mean, it wasn't targeted for my age, um, but I loved it. I love the little stories about high school students. No, I'm not a creep like that. I just, I loved it. And oh, here's another teenage one. I just actually started Gossip Girl. I love it. And again, they're high school students. Okay, I am sounding creepy. <laughs> Um, but at least I'm not watching um, Teletubbies or something like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's Gossip Girl and Glee. Ooh, two G's. Mm, I can go for about two G's right now. Okay, so last but not least, what song do you like but don't know the lyrics to? Okay, that is a song that my daughter plays all the time. It's Camila, Camila Cabello. It's, uh, I'll try to sing a few. I don't know the words. It's And I sing this every day in the car with Gigi. And she's like, can you not sing? Those aren't the words. And I'm like, I really like the song. She's like, but you don't know the words. And it's annoying because I'm trying to sing. It's your sin. And I'm a suck. I know she said suck. And I'm a suck. It's on a man of a fool's Do you know what song I'm talking about? And I'm a son of a It's like, never see. What a seal. What a seal. What a seal. But anyway, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you ever want to ask me any other questions, I could do another Q&A. It could be any question. I'll answer anything. Just don't be nasty. But I would answer anything that you ask, personal to, not too personal. And that's it. So I am going to go on my day right now. I'm going to have my cup of coffee because it's going to make my average day much Yes, and all of you have a blessed day and thank you for watching. And if you are new to my channel, please press the subscribe, please press the subscribe button. Will I show you my ring? I'm wearing pretty ring, the wrinkled fingers. Um, yes, press the subscribe button and that little notification bell. This way you can be notified when I make new videos. And yes, and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.